Oh, hello there. I just had to get a fresh beer in case this one runs out. You naughty thing. <clears throat> Toothpicks all over the place. I don't know why. Well, I got another couple packages today. So I thought I'd open for them. This conglomeration came. This way, from somewhere. So we get your mail's damaged. It was found in this condition in the mail stream. Anyway, in here is 30, or there should be 30, of uh, tarot rods. I'll count them later. These are the size I use. I think that it's 4 centimeters by 5 sixteenths, or 80 millimeters by 10 centimeters. 80 millimeters. So 0.8 of a centimeter and 100 centimeters long. That doesn't make sense. 10 centimeters long. <laughs> Four by five, five sixteenths, I think, is what it is. Anyway, so I'll be able to make some more uh, fire steels. I'll get them on uh, line there like that. I don't mind giving them away, but the ones I sent over to, uh, even the one that went just to New Brunswick was twelve dollars shipping. So uh, if you want one, then uh, I'm gonna say fifteen dollars. Just to cover my shipping costs, I don't mind giving stuff away, but I don't want to have to pay to give stuff away, if you follow what I mean. Okay, we got another one here, and I was from China. If you go by this, the entire thing is worth $5.64. If that is indeed in cents. Comes from number six Dong Wayne Road. Where is it here? See? Dong Wayne. Another mainstay in the uh, Chinese porn industry. The Hong Kong porn industry. Got this uh, yellow tape that seems to be on so much stuff lately. Okay, try not to cut it. Anything except the plastic bag. Hair doctor. Yeah, I still uh, I think there's one of the doctor's uh, things out here still. Oh. And inside here, there's a whole bunch of uh, uh, hair cord bracelets. And these ones got the the ferrocium rod in here, and the striker is on the other buckle, a little thing like that. More stuff to sell or give away. Five dollars and sixty cents for it's probably thirty in there. Okay, and I got this from uh, my buddy in Green River, Wisconsin, Wyoming. I always get that mixed up a little bit here. And I finally know his last name. Actually, I knew his last name, but I couldn't remember it. And he sent me something else with, with a label, return label like this, but I couldn't find it. So I had to uh, mail his the last package to him went to James Slabjacking, because that's his YouTube handle. Wyoming Slabjacking. I guess he used to work in the industry where you would jack up slabs with air bags and balloon hey. He said he had something for me and uh, it's inside this. So I don't know what it is. Hopefully nothing dirty. There's a picture. I think it's a knife. 
I didn't read the uh, custom signs. Alright. Simple way to do this, I don't think. Okay, so the box, if this is the proper box, says old timer. I think that's some kind of a knife. Old timer. Let's see uh, how we get into this. Need a knife to get into the knife. Go figure, right? Eh? What a conundrum. <laughs> get your hands off my conundrum. <laughs> Buy me dinner first. <laughs> I don't know if the knife is in there, but here's a little bag of shavings, which I think probably are magnesium shavings for making a fire. Ooh, freeze. Oh, I think I know what this is. I think I know what this is. It's, yeah. They call these uh, yo-yos, is a slang word for them. Mechanical fisher. So it's mechanical fisher. And what you do is you tie this to a tree or something like that. Put your bait, hook and bait and stuff on there and there. And then uh, then what would you do? See this little uh, locking lever here? Oh, what the hell am I doing? See, that's how it works. When the wee fishies come along and bite it, then it winds itself up and sets the hook. Excellent. I don't know if they're legal to use here in Prince Edward Island or anywhere else. It's kind of maybe considered a trap or... Anyway. Definitely good survival kind of a thing, and if it's survival, just remember, nothing is illegal. You know, who cares if it breaks, you know, Act 3 of the Fish and Wildlife, uh, and starve instead of getting yourself a trout. <laughs> Alright, these are goodies in here. Oh, uh, some salt. Taylor Brands, limited warranty, professional quality tools. Kingsport, Tennessee. Oh, it's an old timer with a nice Cordura, Cordura, Cordura sheath. Nice little snap block here. Shrade. That's who makes these. Shrade. Nice orange handle. So if you drop it, you can find it. Must be used for skinning. With this big up sweep here, just get in between the skin and the, the animal. Cut it away. I wonder if it'd be good for fishing though. Well, I don't fill up much fish here. Anyway, that's uh, that's a nice little knife. For sure. Thank you very much, James. I'm just finishing up uh, another ferro rod for you, the one made out of lobster trap wood. I don't know if I sent you one like that or not. I'll make you one out of antler handle too. I got some antler handle recently. So, as soon as I get them done, I'll put them in the mail for you. Thanks again. This is, this is great stuff. And I, miss, <laughs> I believe this is magnesium shavings. But you can correct me if I'm wrong on that. It's nice and small too. I don't like big uh, knives sometimes. Excellent. There's a couple of marbles in here. Oh, that's from the silica gel thing. Remember kids, don't eat this. So, that was a nice surprise. And, uh, as you can see there, uh, my new neighbor just lives up there. Uh, like a hundred meters away, 
he's a doctor, and he's a wife and three kids, I think. Two horses, two dogs, and chickens. I can hear them cock a doo 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 every morning. Well, not every morning, but sometimes morning. And this morning, uh, I'm now sleeping with my uh, window open. I heard a fox just in the woods between me and him. And uh, it did the screaming thing. If you ever heard it, it's kind of unnerving at first. And uh, I could hear him, and he was getting farther away about for about five minutes. He must have screeched or whatever they do for about 20 times. And then a little later, I heard him again coming closer. So I think it's a fox. Uh, it must be some kind of mating ritual they do, but you'd think, uh, you'd think by this time of year their mating would have been done already by now. But I don't really know. Holy moly. Chicks on TV. <laughs> Celebrity name game. One of my favorites. So, i uh, got another 12 liters of sap boiling on the uh, fridge. No, uh, the stove. So that should give me a about two cups of maple syrup. And for a little something je ne sais quoi, I put some uh, pine needles in it too, just to get some more woodsy flavor out of it. So, I could have ruined it, I don't know, but uh, it should be good. Uh, so I now have four jars of it, two that are 500 milliliters and two that are 250 milliliters, like a cup. But they all have, uh, when they settle down, they all have a, like a deposit on the bottom, light brown deposit, and I really don't know uh, what that is. Uh, I take the time to, with a spoon, get all the foam and scum off the top, and it, just before I pour it in, it looks there's no sludge in the pot. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I'm doing something wrong. Mind you, it won't kill you, if, especially just pour it off the top. Okay. I've ambled on enough, I think. Thanks again, James. And uh, i get those to you in the mail uh, as soon as I can. Uh, I think I have one finished for you in the lobster trap, but i got to uh, make up an antler tying one with the hockey skate uh, strikers. <laughs> so, uh, if I don't get to you tomorrow, Wednesday's Why No Wednesday, and we'll see you then. There's Chris. Out. Hello down there in Australia, and so sorry to hear the news uh, from you, Frank. Uh, must be horrible. Out. Here we see Jeff in the chair, the little striped one. We see Big Bad Dave. Now where could Mark be? Where could be? There's Ben, and some birdies. Like the friendly joint, you gotta look up. Way up! The dog's back. There is young Mark, holding on for dear life. Now he's way too tall for me to go up there and get him, so he's going to have to make his own way down. Or else I get a slingshot and or just throw rocks at him. <laughs> he's been exactly that position for about the last 15 minutes, I think. So uh, he may be up there for a while. Throw up a blanket and a pillow for him. <laughs> and there's the blue-eyed beautiful girl. Jeez, I almost think I heard a hummingbird go by. That's not possible though, because it gets way too cold at night for them, I think. Why don't you go home there, blue-eyed beauty? I see your sister went home. Go on with you. Go on with you.